If you're not wowed in the next few minutes, I seriously need to reconsider my job as a Photoshop educator. Check this out. So here's our grandfather cycle. See the spokes? It is a Herculean task to select that, right? However, this is the older version of Photoshop. If we were to click on remove background and let Photoshop select the subject, have a look. This is just crappy. It doesn't select anything. Have a look at the mask right here. This is just absolute trash. But even that was a revolution till now. But now, things are slightly changing. Have a look at this. So here's the later version of Photoshop. And here, if I click on remove background, get ready to have your minds blown. Have a look at this. I, I don't even know what to say. This is just... What is this? Have a look at the mask right here. What is this? Have a look at the older version of Photoshop. Look at this. This is the older version of Photoshop. Look at the mask. Look at the selection. And this is the newer version of Photoshop. Look at this. Look at the mask. I don't even know what to say. This is this is revolutionary. And trust me, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And if you were to put this on a white background by clicking on the adjustment layer icon, choosing solid color, choosing white, hit OK, place it underneath it. And if you zoom out, you cannot even tell. This is insane. All of the important instrumentation, all of the details right here, everything masked properly. Are we even realizing the magnitude of this? This is the older version of Photoshop and it's missing things here. Missing things all over the place. Filling gaps right there. This is the mask. Absolutely not proper. And this new technology just blows it out the park for everyone. Please know there are steps to activate this feature. First of all, it's only available in the beta version of Photoshop right now. Maybe by the time you're watching this, it's in the main version. But right now, if you wish to try this, you need to go to your Creative Cloud desktop app, go to apps, beta at the top and just install Photoshop beta. There's already an update available. And even getting the beta may not activate this feature. This feature is only available through cloud select subject. So to activate that, go to Photoshop beta settings. If you're on Windows, go to edit and then preferences. Inside of that, go to image processing. And then you want to make sure select subject and remove background is set to cloud. Hit OK and restart everything just to be sure. Now, let me show you another photo with a busier background and a harder subject. Here we have these mud terrain wheels, these cogs there, all of these spokes. Let's see how it handles that. By the way, you can also click on select subject instead of remove background to make a selection instead. Or if you had to select the quick selection tool, object selection tool or the magic wand tool at the top, you'll also see select subject. If you click on the drop down, the default should be cloud because that's what we set in the preferences. Now, let's click on select subject here or on the contextual taskbar, up to you. Now, it's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm not pausing anything just so you know how much time it takes. Let's give it a bit of time and I don't know what to talk about while it happens. So, let's wait for it and it's done, thankfully. And have a look, this is so darn good. It selected every spoke even though there was a busy background here. Now, with the selection active, you can click on the mask button to remove the background. But I want you to take a look at the mask. If this is not brilliant, I don't know what is. It even got the ends of the spoke so nicely. It got the cogs. I know, it may not be 100% accurate, but this is miles apart from what we had before. Now, let's compare it with the regular version of Photoshop. This is not the beta. And just to be fair, we want to click on the drop down and we want to make sure that it is cloud as well and click on select subject. By the way, to be honest, it is not that bad. Click on the mask button and now you begin to see the difference. Here's the mask. It left so many things out and it left the passenger out. It's just is a night and day difference. And here's both of them side by side. Here's the mask of the newer version and here is the older version. And if you have the guts to compare it for the non-cloud version the way it was before before, this is how it would look like. Select subject without the cloud. And now if you click on the mask button, have a look at the mask. Here's both of them side by side again. What are we even comparing? Too much about cycles. Let's go to another complex object. I'm talking about the racket here. So if you're not able to see the contextual taskbar, by the way, all you need to do is to right click outside the canvas and click on show contextual taskbar. Another way is go to window, scroll down and click on contextual taskbar to see it if you prefer to use it from there. Let's click on remove background. The racket is going to be very tough. Also the hair too. So we're going to take a look at how it deals with that. And this was fast. First of all, let's have a look at the mask. And look at the mask of the racket. This is so, so darn good. It's so accurate. It feels like you were doing this with the pen tool. The only difference is this was 10,000 times faster. Let's create a black background by clicking on the adjustment layer icon, choosing solid color and then choosing black. Hit OK. Place it underneath the subject and look at this. Look at the subject's arms, the clothes. It's just so proper. It's incredibly selected. But what about the hair? 
this is good too. There are some areas that it missed out on. But apart from that, this is not bad. Oh my gosh. And especially have a look at the racket. This is just crazy. Now, if I did the same thing with the old technology, click on remove background. I already have a black background, by the way. It didn't even consider the racket. If this is not a revolution in technology, I really don't know what is. And to be fair, I'm going to do that again. But this time, I'm going to turn on the cloud and click on select subject. And even then, if you have a look at the mask, it didn't select the racket properly. Here's both of them side by side. And it's like comparing Renault to Rolls Royce. Now, I know what you might be thinking. What about hair, especially on a busy background? Can it deal with that? Can it deal with the flyaways and the single strands of hair? Let's test it. So here's our subject. I'm going to click on remove background and we are not pausing anything. We are not editing anything. Let it take its time. And this was pretty fast. And have a look at this. This is so darn good. Now, there are a couple of discrepancies here, but apart from that, this is so good here. This is so darn good there. And all of these areas, you can just start using that. Now, there are some green halos, easy to take care of. The hair is so thin, it takes in the color of the background. To fix it, just create a brand new layer and then take the brush, hold the Alt key or the Option key and click to take a sample of the hair and just paint. Now, we want this to be limited just to this layer. So hold the Alt key or the Option key again and click on the line between these two layers. And we only wanted to change the color. So change the blend mode from normal to color. And there you go, that is fixed. I did excess, but you get the point. So take a sample from right here, paint only around the edges where there's the green. Take a sample from here, paint only around the edges. So that way you can remove it. If you have done extra, hold the tilde key next to one to erase the extras and then paint again. You can always decrease the opacity too, but that's besides the point. Let's have a look at the mask by holding the Alt key or the Option key and clicking on the mask. Look, this is so good. Now, if you have a look at the original image, actually, this was not non-accurate. This was pretty accurate. It looked like non-accurate, but have a look at the mask. This did get everything. Sometimes reality looks photoshopped and we may have to add some fake details in Photoshop to make it more real. Now, just for comparison, on the right, you have the newer version. On the left, you have the regular version and you can clearly see the difference in masking. It selected and removed each area that wasn't the hair. But in this case, it selected extra from the middle of the hair. And in both cases, just to keep things fair, we use the cloud version of select subject. Now, one thing we need to understand is that this feature is only available through the cloud version of select subject. If you try the device version, even in the beta, let's try that. Click on device from the dropdown, click on select subject. Have a look. This is so darn basic. If you were to create a mask with it, have a look at it. Absolutely not acceptable. This is just crazy unacceptable. Maybe we need to go to select and mask and try to refine that. But comparing it with the cloud version is a night and day difference. I already have a white background. Cloud is selected by default. And let's click on select subject. And just look at it. If you were to remove the background, look at this. What is this? This is just on some another level. For all of you who photograph dogs, this is a miracle. Just look at the fur quality. You don't even have to paint anymore with the fur brushes, unless of course specific cases. But apart from that, if you photograph it right, this is so good. Now, if you want to learn how to remove these halos here, I have several videos on it like this and this. You can watch all of those later. Now, those are not the fault of the masking because the masking is excellent. That's because the background color just seeps in. So how do you feel about this feature? Are you going to be using this? Let me know in the comments. And also the Adobe people might be watching this video. And again, I'm going to give a big shout out to Amy DeRocher for showing me this feature again. You can read her article on this feature. She's from the Photoshop team who's working to make this feature better for all of us. I genuinely like this. Adobe has not sponsored this video. Nobody has sponsored this video except for Piximperfect Pro. So if you want to master Photoshop from start to finish and beyond with updated lessons, tutorials and masterclasses that you won't find on YouTube, everything from scratch to make you the master of concepts, definitely check out Piximperfect Pro on piximperfect.com. Now, as we play with this feature, there are a couple of concerns that we might have. Since this is a specialized selection method that works in the cloud, there is a slight chance that Adobe might start charging for this. I generally hope they don't. And Adobe has never charged you for select subject on the cloud and we already pay a subscription. I hope they don't, but only time will tell because every other background removing platform that works on the cloud and that does a pretty good job, they charge on a credit basis. So I hope that Adobe Photoshop stands out and they don't charge because we already are paying a subscription. The other concern might be it needs an internet connection for better selections. I think that's fair because you already have an offline version of select subject, which works pretty decently. But if you do need more precision and all of that exciting cloud computing stuff, you can just use a simple internet connection for better results. And the final consideration is, should you be concerned about your photos being uploaded to the cloud? 
I leave that to you. Let me know in the comments. It depends on your projects, your preferences and what you believe in. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other feature tips, tricks or tutorials. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.